this video shows a brief demonstration of a three-layer compression wrap, which is the mainstay of treatment for the underlying venous insufficiency. Venous stasis ulcers are difficult to treat, often because the underlying cause is, is not addressed. Various dressings can be used, but it's very unlikely that they will heal unless the edema caused by the venous insufficiency itself is addressed. The deep venous system becomes incompetent and shunts blood to the superficial venous system. That causes visible varicosities. Because of the hydrostatic pressure, particularly when the lower extremities are in the dependent position, the interstitial fluid increases. That increases the distance from the capillary bed to the skin surface, meaning that there's a greater diffusion distance for nutrients and important cells that are involved in the healing process to get to the skin. So if a wound should form on the skin, it's less likely that it will heal. This is one of the many reasons uh, to treat the underlying edema associated with venous stasis. Secondly, after blood pools because of the hydrostatic pressure, uh, hemosiderin deposits uh, occur and that's where you get your discoloration and ultimately your brawny edema. The idea of a, of a multi-compression wrap is that the initial layer is for protection of the skin and uh, to some degree comfort. The second layer is generally a high stretch fiber that provides a constant but yet gradient of pressure which is high at the proximal end and then continuously gets lower towards the knee and this creates a conduit for an augmentation to uh, venous return proximally. The third layer is generally a short stretch fiber which dynamically uh, augments the pump action of the calf muscles for the blood back proximally towards the heart. It does not create a, a tourniquet effect and at rest it does not create undue pressures but during ambulation or during physiologic muscle movement it augments that pumping action to produce increased blood flow via the venous system back to towards the heart. It's been shown that single layer compression uh, wraps um, are much less effective than single layer graded compression wraps and multi-layer compression wraps are more efficacious than single layer. Uh, so they have to be multi-layer and also graded. What I mean by graded is that you want to have the highest pressure down here at the foot and ankle and a decreasing pressure as you come up so you don't create a tourniquet effect. In this case we don't have uh, an underlying ulcer. If we did we would clean it in the appropriate manner and apply our dressing here. And then the next thing we would do is we'd use, in this, in this case we're using a Curlex, basically a rolled gauze. And this is some, there are some versions of this that are padded, but this is largely to prevent shear forces from the edges of the second layer of wrap. Uh, it also holds the dressing in place and provides a little bit of uh, absorption. So you start at the toe, um, you want to start distally. If you start up here, um, and your other layers start up there as well, you have this distal portion which could potentially, because the pressure is higher here than here distally, you can create a tourniquet effect and, and this portion can become even more swollen. So you're going to start at the, down at the toes and then basically wrap in such a way that you overlap slightly so the edges don't rub on the skin which is generally much more fragile than skin without venous stasis uh, simply because it's not being provided with the nutrients it needs. Now we would normally use another dressing to go all the way up um, to the um, just below the knee and the reason you want to do that is there's collateral veins here and so you want it, you want the compression to get to go all the way up to those collateral veins so they'll pick it up um, and your perforators generally are affected all the way up to that point so you don't want to stop here, but I'm stopping here for the sake of the demonstration. So the next layer is, this is basically, you know, an, uh, the equivalent of an ace bandage. This particular one is self-elastic. Some have hooks, some have Velcro. 
This is what's considered a high stretch elastic fabric. And high stretch meaning um, just what it says is that it stretches, it stretches in a greater distance. The problem with high stretch is that you can easily create uh, areas where the pressure gradient is higher than in others and also it does not adapt to the pump function and the, the circumference of the, of the leg when a patient is either ambulatory or at rest. And so therefore, it can easily create a tourniquet effect if it's applied too tight. So you want to start at the same point that you started with the underlying protective dressing, and you want to have this graded now. So you want to have more pressure at the foot. Generally, it's 30, anywhere from 35 to 50 millimeters of mercury at the foot. Um, and basically experience sort of dictates the feel of it. But you generally, as you come up the leg, you're going to, uh, you're going to um, do it in a graded fashion so that you create less tension uh, towards the top. So you're, you're allowing blood flow to, to uh, choose the paths of least resistance and go prox in the proximal direction. And that's what we mean by graded compression. And it's much more important in this case because this is the first layer. The third layer in this multi-layer compression wrap is probably the most important. And many times we see, uh, we see this done with simply this uh, single layer. Uh, and sometimes that's done for compliance reasons. Um, but if uh, you add the third layer, it becomes much more efficacious. Now this is, as opposed to the, the long stretch, this is considered a short stretch dressing. This is a, a Coband brand name, but this is basically a, a short stretch uh, dressing. Short stretch means that at rest, there's, there's minimal pressure. So there's not going to be, um, the pressure's not gonna be high enough to create a tourniquet effect at rest. However, when the, when the circumference increases because of uh, ambulation or muscle contraction, um, the, um, this allows for that movement and basically augments the natural pump function of the leg. So, so that's, that is the purpose and the function and the benefit of a short stress fiber. So, so you um, basically apply, the, apply this in the same fashion. And again, you do this in a graded fashion. And I'm only using one, I'm stopping short and I'm only using one uh, for the sake of this demonstration. But you'd obviously use as many as you need to get to just under the leg. You always wanna be um, at that point. So you would obviously be uh, tighter here and graded so that it's decreased up top. And you generally don't wanna have gaps in the padding because these edges will rub against this uh, skin and uh, can cause actually further ulceration. As you can see, we finished our wrap. Uh, we have stopped short of the knee, but you, in general, you really wanna go um, right up to the, um, just, proc just distal to the, uh, to the knee, uh, where you get access to the popliteal vein, the popliteal vein system. This is a graded compression. It's three layers. This is Coban, which sticks to itself and creates a fairly uniform dressing. Underneath there, if you have a venous stasis ulcer, you'll have the appropriate absorptive dressing, maybe a calcium alginate or whatever is appropriate. And you can leave this on for up to a week, but depending on the patient taking baths or, the, or how often you wanna evaluate this wound, if it's highly secretive or potentially erythematous because of cellulitis, then you just simply cut this off and check it more frequently. It is reasonable to leave these on for as long as a week take them off check your um, and check your progression. The other thing with this is that this alone doesn't do the job as effectively unless you have the behavioral component which is to keep these legs elevated as much as possible. Having the lower extremities even if they're wrapped in a dependent position unnecessarily i.e. sitting in a wheelchair all day long with the feet in a dependent position will not augment the what we're trying to benefit here. So what we'd like to do is keep the legs elevated even when, it, when in bed and particularly when in a sitting position. So this is a demonstration of the three layer graded compression wrap for venous stasis and also it's the same process for lymphedema. Mm -hmm.